Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be going over the new patch notes that just came out today for Diablo 3 Season 21, AKA patch 2.6.9 the PTR. So just as a heads up, we're just going to be going over these newer changes. If you guys are interested in everything coming out in Season 1 and 2.6.9, I'll have the video pinned down below. It goes over the best builds for currently the two sets that just came out, which is the new Necromancer set and the Demon Hunter set. But we're just going over the new content here for this video. So anyways, this is the new update. So with the seasonal buff, basically it's far too weak. They've actually made it so it's going to activate much faster. So what's going to be happening, you'll see it here in the gameplay, uh, just as a heads up, the gameplay does not have the new patch because the new patch has not been released, it's just the notes that we have uh, that just came out today. But every two minutes there's going to be a little thing that's going to activate, you might see some meteor showers, you might see some twisters pop up, but basically it's almost like a uh, variant of the previous one where we had those kill streaks. Uh, now this happens every two minutes, but they've actually buffed it, so now it's going to happen every 90 seconds. So a little buff, so it's going to activate a little bit faster. They've also added a effect to track when these buffs are going off a little better. My guess is some type of bar or a timer. I mean, you can basically time every two minutes. It's like right on the dot as far as when these are activating. Uh, firewalls will now start at the caster and they will become stationary once they hit a wall. Firewalls before were sometimes not appearing with the caster. The problem with the firewall is it moves way, 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 way too slow and on top of that the seasonal buff didn't really do any damage um, which was a huge problem but they've also addressed that and uh, they've also made it so meteors will now track players and not stay in the initial location sometimes they would basically hit off screen or they would hit like where there's only one enemy and you move on and it does nothing so this is quite nice uh, change to this but this is the biggest problem was that it just simply didn't do enough damage so damage has been slightly buffed for multiplayer if anyone plays diablo you usually end up pushing the higher greater rifts um, you're not going to be sitting there in like normal and stuff for difficulty. So uh, now hopefully they will actually be worth it to actually push with the greater rifts uh, because before they would only do a few percents of damage. We're talking like maybe 5% of damage with the new seasonal buff. It's just too small to make a huge difference. Whereas with previous seasons uh, with of course the killstreak one, the angels would just melt the uh, rift guardians super fast and they were actually kind of required if you wanted to push on the leaderboard. So that's quite nice. They've also made an uh, adjustment to the area damage uh, that was proccing and so they're going to go ahead and uh, fix that as well but anyways just overall nice little buffs over here so i'd say this is a good change i think the damage needs to be significantly multiplied if they actually want the season to actually be more meaningful uh, but that's just my thoughts on it you guys can let me know how you feel about the uh, seasonal buff because i felt like it was too weak to really warrant a lot of players to actually play the season just for that seasonal buff it's really coming down to the new sets which is what we're going to go ahead and hop right into now so as far as the uh, demon hunter set it's a huge buff you're seeing some gameplay of the bola build which will basically basically uh, bring everyone close together. It's not the, mo the most efficient build or the best build. Again, that will be pinned down below if you guys want to use the new set, which really comes down to Hungering Arrow. But anyway, so they've adjusted the two-piece bonus to address the momentum and damage feedback. So it's going to be a huge buff. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read exactly what that does. So previously, you gain a stack of momentum, and it would last two seconds, and you get a maximum duration of 10 seconds, and then they would deal 10% more damage per stack of momentum. Now you gain four seconds of momentum so that's double the effect and you get up to 20 seconds of it and so basically what it says is your primary skills deal 10% increased damage per second of momentum since we're basically doubling it here uh, it's even better than double DPS and we'll get into that in a second here because with the uh, developers notes over here we fixed a few of the issues uh, with the four piece bonus so moving on to the four piece bonus um, normally how it would work is when you would cast strafe against enemies, it will automatically shoot your last used primary skill and give 60% damage reduction while strafing and for 5 seconds after. And now it says while strafing you gain 8% increased movement speed for each second of momentum. So you're going to be moving even faster because you would move uh, faster per stack of momentum. But now since there's going to be uh, more stacks, we're going to be going super super fast with this. But in addition to this, with the developer's notes, they've actually changed something. And it's kind of worded weirdly. A lot of people kind of still deciding on how this works, but we'll try to go over it um, and decide what the heck it does. So it says, we fixed an issue on the four piece bonus. Players will now be able to proc bonuses and other powers such as simplicity, strength, healing bonus from their primary skills coming from strength. This also added 
a lot of issues with the runes not working properly when you would use strafe and it would shoot your primary skills it just wasn't working properly and so hopefully this will be addressed same thing with area damage with a lot of the different runes it just wasn't working but now it says you will now also be able to strafe forever while shooting primary abilities as you will no longer need momentum for strafe to fire off the last used primary skill lastly we fixed an issue where hunging arrows was not piercing correctly when used with strafe so players will able to use this with the four piece bonus reliably so what this seems to look like we're getting basically just a whirlwind build with demon hunter and some people are still arguing but it says that you will be able to stray forever so at this point you don't even need to cast your regular uh, primary skills and i'm really wondering if we mix in two primaries will it fire off both of them we don't know um, at the moment. I'll test that out for you guys uh, once, of course, we get the gameplay. So if you guys are new here and you do guys want to go ahead and check that out, subscribe, turn on the bell, and you'll see it very soon because I'm guessing we'll get this relatively quick. But nonetheless, it looks like it's going to be a very, very powerful build. In fact, if we're able to strafe forever and we never need to cast primary, we do lose some damage technically because most of the builds were using focus and restraint. However, with this new build, this is probably going to be one of the fastest builds in the game for bounties, T16 speeds, which will be excellent for anyone that is interested in a new build and i think that this will make me more incentivized to go ahead and hop into the uh, new season because it's just so much easier to hold down one button versus activating other things and making sure you have enough stacks it's just so much easier uh, for the most part as far as the necromancer they haven't done anything with the necromancer unfortunately maybe it's going to be coming next week because of course the ptr is going to be lasting a little bit longer but Really, the Necromancer just simply doesn't do enough damage with the new set. Um, with Corpse Explosion or even the older build, which is basically the Skelly Mages, um, those are just more viable at the end of the day. So there's no real change with Necromancer, uh, minus some people trying to not necessarily using exploits more like a snapshotting where you would basically swap skills but anyways they've adjusted uh non-intended behaviors with simulacrum while addressing the frustration of them getting split from the necromancer time so quality of life where the simulacrums won't just like kind of be off the bap and they're just like simply not there but it says simulacrum these will now warp the necromancer if they begin to move too far away from the player this only works if the necromancer is wearing the set so that is important uh, and then also simulacrums cannot use grim scythe or uh with haunted vision or Skeletal Mage unless the Necromancer had either of those abilities while the Simulacrums were created. Uh, very few people probably ended up using that, but basically you would cast it when you had those skills, then you would swap out and then they would still be able to use it. So nonetheless, those are the changes with the PTR. So relatively short as far as the Necromancer goes, but the Demon Hunter change is quite big. Not only are we getting essentially double the uh, damage buff because of, of course, the um, newer change with the uh, stacks that we're getting, we're able to get double double the stacks but in addition to that we're getting that extra stacks because of the movement speed and everything will be able to work properly with of course the uh different runes and stuff but most importantly we can hold down strafe now a lot of people wanted this but you guys can let me know how you feel about these changes uh, at least as of the patch notes and i'll get you guys some gameplay here very soon but thanks for tuning in, guys let me know your thoughts down below and i'll catch you in the next one have a good one and i'm signing out peace